Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, this is one of my favorite videos to do every month, and this is my low buy check-in. So I am back on my low buy, but I do like to come back at the end of each month to let you know how I did or how I feel like I did. There's no like grand report card saying, okay, you have to check these boxes to get an A, but I have certain parameters that I like to keep myself to. So what I like to talk about in these videos is I want to tell you everything that I did purchase, everything I wanted to to purchase but didn't you know where I kept my low buy strong but also always to be fair I always tell you guys about what I received in PR that month as well because as a youtuber I feel like it would not be uh, forthcoming for me to be like oh I didn't bring anything new in my collection I didn't get anything if I received PR you know because that is still new things coming into my collection so I'm gonna tell you about that I'm also going to tell you about old products that I've been loving and these could just be like 10 minutes old or they can be like 20 years old and yes I do have makeup that's pretty old 20 years old I don't think I have anything 20 years old but I do still have the original naked palette you do the math I will tell you what I got rid of and then just other things bringing me joy so I'm going to start off by telling you that this month guys I spent a lot of money and I don't have a lot to show for it. So let's just jump right into the items I bought. A lot of the things that I purchased this month, like makeup wise, nothing, absolutely nothing. I didn't purchase a single piece of makeup, skincare, hair care, anything like that. So technically, technically I stuck to my low buy there, but what I did purchase first, is I purchased a new microphone. Does this sound sexy? <laughs> Let me just say that my microphone journey has been terrible. I've hated every second of it. My last microphone that I was using broke after five years, so I needed to get a new one for my YouTube channel, and it's, it's just been a nightmare. So let me just say that from the bottom of my heart, I hope that this video sounds good. If it does, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below with like lots of heart emojis. I don't care what color, use the rainbow of heart emojis because I have put my blood, sweat, and tears into making my videos sound better for you guys. But something else I wound up purchasing is a new computer, okay? And uh, that pains me to say because I've been putting it off for so long, but full disclosure, I did get a bonus from my nine to five job, which I'm very thankful for. So I was able to get this computer, but it still made me throw up in my mouth a little bit because it's the most expensive piece of tech equipment I have ever purchased. My goal though is that it's going to make my video editing for you all easier and hopefully better than it was before. So it's a big purchase, but it is one that I'm happy to make. My third purchase was clothing. So I am kind of including clothing on my low buy. I really am, but I did purchase a dress, okay? And here it is. It's not in my hand. You know why? Because it said that it was delivered about two hours ago and it's not right here. It's not here. Now what my mail person likes to do is mark stuff off as delivered when they're sitting in their truck and then bring it over to me several hours later. There's a chance it might still happen. There's also a chance that they delivered it to the gentleman who lives about 10 doors down who this sweet, sweet older gentleman keeps bringing me my packages of slutty goth clothing. And I feel so bad every time, but he's so nice. But I will put a picture of it here and this is how I'm hoping to style the dress with a harness and hat and big stompy boots. This is for an event that I'm going to in April and fingers crossed it works out because if it does work out, it's gonna look so good. <laughs> now let's talk about stuff I wanted to purchase but didn't and there's only two things on this list and one of them I am going to purchase, I just didn't yet. So the first thing is the Melt 27 palette. This is an older palette, but it was on sale for so long at Sephora for $29. And I was twitching because it's this beautiful warm toned palette with these just like sunrise colors in it. And that's kind of my vibe. I love a warm toned eye, even though like I'm wearing the Melt Neutral stack today, but I love warm tones, I really do. And this palette has always kind of appealed to me but I've always kind of put it on the back burner until it was $29. And I even put a poll on my Instagram. I was like, should I get this? Do you guys have it? And so many of you have this palette and love it. So I want you to tell me down below if you have the 27 palette, what you think of it, because I'm sure it will go on sale again. And if so, I might snag it. The other thing that I didn't get, okay, and this is something I have wanted for literally years, but it kind of slips on my radar and then off my radar, but it's back on hardcore right now. So Salt New York is a brand that I've never personally tried. I've seen plenty of people review it. Hannah Louise Poston, Kate the Great Beauty, they both love Salt New York. So the concept is that you get a palette, like a four pan palette, 
and then you fill it with these little pans of foundation or bronzer or cheek products and they're all cream based which is my love language okay i have wanted one of these for so long i heard that their sneaky balm which is their foundation is just amazing so i was this close to clicking the purchase button until i realized that they are coming out with a concealer soon so i am waiting until that concealer comes out before i purchase this Again, if you have used Salt New York, please tell me in the comments down below what you think, what your favorite products are. I just love a creamy product, whether it's for my cheeks or my eyes or my lips or any of it. I love a creamy, juicy product because I do have normal to dry skin, so it really does help me out and smooth things in, but I would love to know your thoughts down below, but that's something I'm definitely getting. I just haven't yet. Okay, PR, this is a difficult one. This is a difficult one. You know what, let me get the PR so I can show you. Okay, so I'll be honest, this month I received probably more PR than maybe I've received like in a single month in my entire time on YouTube. And I've been here for 10 years, you guys. I've been here for a decade, over a decade at this point. And I'm just, uh, it kind of blows me away every single time I receive any kind of PR, but anyway. <laughs> So these first two things I technically received at the very end of January, but I wound up filming my video before the end of the month. So they're included here. The same might happen if I get some crazy PR in the next few days because I am filming this before the end of February. So the very first thing was the Khaki and uh, Finding Ferdinand collection, the Apres Ski collection. So these are made up of cream blushes and also glosses. The glosses sold out like instantly like instantly instantly but somehow there are still two cream blushes left and these are the two i use most often so the only reason i'm talking about them a little bit more in depth is because if you didn't receive them these two are still available so my absolute favorite is sunrise these are absolutely mauvey beige colors and this is such a beautiful color if you are my skin tone or maybe a little bit lighter or a little bit deeper but i would say on very deep skin tones this might be a little uh, too pale, but it's such a beautiful color. These are super, super creamy. I guess I should swatch it, but if you can see right there, these are super creamy and super comfortable to wear. They're easy to wear. They blend out like a dream and they look kind of luminescent on the skin, but it's not like you're wearing a highlighter or anything like that. I probably, I can't swatch everything. <laughs> the other one that's still available is High Noon, and this one is significantly deeper, but it's still good on my skin tone. So this one is, you know, again, it's definitely deeper. You can really see the color there. And these just go on so beautifully. Even the deepest shade, I can make it work for me, which is what I really like about the Finding Ferdinand blushes in general. But they did send me the whole collection and the whole collection is valued, I'm sorry, I did all the math, is valued at $218. Um, I'm very, very thankful to have received it. The next thing I received was the Fancy Cosmetica, and this was also in the end of January, the Wizard Collection. Guys, I love this so much. I love it so much. I was not expecting to love it this much. This color story with these blues mixed with the pale yellows, chef's kiss. I've used this so much. I don't know if you can tell, especially this color meteor storm. I have a dent in it already. Wait, look, there you go. Can you see the dent? I don't know. I have a dent in it already. And it is just such a beautiful, like yellowy green. Oh, should I do it on the same? I'll try to do it over here. So maybe you can see, but the color shifts. First of all, you can see how highly metallic it is, but it shifts from like yellow to green to gold. It is so pretty, so pretty. And like, I love this very, very pale blue combined with the deepest blue that you can possibly get. Just, they did a bang up job on this one. How did I swatch that and not Graviturgy? This is a absolute multi-chrome. There are so many sparkles in here and it's just, oh my God. Look at that, look, it goes again from green to purple there, it's like pinky and it's just so pretty. I put that, you know what, to be fair, I put that right over top of the swatch of that blush. So let me see if I can wipe my hand off a little bit, but it's just so gorgeous. And then the highlighter palette, again, I was not expecting to love this and I've been using it quite a bit. So these are definitely more bold highlighters. These are colorful highlighters. These are, you know, you've got obviously a pale pink, a pink pink and then a purple. So these colors are very bold, but they're so pretty and they're like multi-dimensional and they don't look like a glitter bomb on your face. So 
super happy to have received this and the price of these so I'm gonna round up a little bit. Let's say it, it's about $70 for these two. So again, very, very thankful for these. Let me know also down below, when I'm talking about what I received in PR, do you want to know the actual value of these things? Because I like to add it up for myself again, so I'm being fully transparent with you guys when I say, oh, I haven't purchased anything this month when this is coming into my collection. And then I will make this next one quick because I know you guys are tired of hearing me talk about it, but I did receive the new Melt collection where there's the two stacks of eyeshadows as well as, oh, I dropped it, as well as two gel liners. One of them is Burnish, which has been released in the past with the Rust palette. The other one is Penny, which is a metal bond liner, which is metallic. These, this collection's beautiful, you guys. Like. I really didn't think I would use it as much as I have been, but look, like I'm wearing the neutral stack today. I use Burnish very often, just like, it's a really great collection if you like neutral. So this collection was sold as a set for 65, which I think altogether, if you purchased it as a set, bang up job. This next thing I received is something that you might wanna keep an eye out. I haven't decided yet whether I'm gonna keep this or put it in a giveaway because it's so beautiful but I know I have enough brushes and it's makeup brushes. So Moda Brush sent me over the Marilyn Monroe collection. You guys, it's so pretty. First of all, look at this box. Look how amazing, like I, I love this box so much. I love it so much. So anyway, there are two, whoops, two brush sets in the collection. We do have a collection of eye brushes with a few face brushes and also just the face collection. So the deluxe kit, which is this one right here. Yeah, this is the deluxe kit. This is $23 and the Starstruck face kit is 32. They are so pretty. Like this collection, you can see there's Marilyn on the handles and this one has kind of a graphic handle. Guys, if you're looking for really, really, really affordable brushes that are good quality, I still always recommend Moda brushes. They are some of my favorite brushes. Like I've talked endlessly, the B this is so dirty. The BMX 265 Glow is still my favorite highlighter brush of all time. They just have so many fantastic brushes. Sorry, I'm going through my collection. If you like fun brushes, they have things like this. I love this brush too. Do they have a name for this? This is just a domed shadow brush, but it's kind of like a unicorn horn. I really still love Moda. They are re really good quality. Sorry, this one too. Just fantastic quality. I'm so thankful for this. And uh, am I going to keep it? I might because it's so pretty. Then I also received the Kaja Wink Dazzle Sticks. These are actually very, very cool. So on one side, you have... Ugh, can't open it. On one side, you have a shadow stick and these are all like metallic shadows. And on the other side, you have a glitter stamp to stamp on top. I did make a YouTube short and an Instagram reel using these. These are a lot of fun and very easy to use. I've really been enjoying these way more than I thought I would because these are very, very neutral, but they're sparkly and they're convenient. So these retail for $22 each. So the whole set is 132. Do I think these are worth 22? I do actually, yeah. If you're only gonna buy one or two, I don't think it's worth getting the whole set because a lot of these are sort of similar in color. Again, you can check out my reel of, of uh, showing all these off, but they are very neutral and very similar in color, but I don't think it's a bad idea to have like one or two of these in your arsenal for days when you're just feeling lazy as hell. Then Smashbox sent me two packages this month, which is such a surprise to me because I've never, like I've received Smashbox like two years ago, but not since then. So the first thing they sent me were these Halo Sculpt and Glow face palettes. Guys, these are really nice. They're really, really nice. So this one is back to Cali. And you can see the colors are a bit more like bronzy and very warm toned. I really like this one. This one is my favorite so far but the intention is that you have shades to kind of contour and sculpt, a sculpting blush, which goes up here, a blush for the apples of your cheeks, and then a highlighter. This is great quality. So these are $45 each, which I have to admit, I feel like is a little steep, but it's an all-in-one face palette. So the other one that they sent is Pink Saturation. This one is slightly cooler toned. So this kind of color, this color, like that bubble gum leaning on lavender pink, I never really love that color for blush on myself. It just doesn't look flattering. It's a little too cool toned for me, but the other three are so good that I'm definitely keeping this. I'm so keeping this. These are really cool. The only thing I hate about these, and I say hate, is that this lid does not want to stay open. So I don't almost don't understand the point of a mirror unless you have to like hold it. Haggis. 
If you guys haven't seen him in a minute, this is my Haggis Stinky Boy. He a big, thick boy. Look how handsome he is, though. Everybody comment down below and tell Haggis how handsome he is. Mm. Now Piper's hanging out in the corner jealous, so he might come in in any minute. But I do think 45 is slightly steep, but again, good quality. They also sent me a package that has just a bunch of their legendary favorites. So there's the Photo Finish Primer, which I use all the time. You guys know it. You love it. Then there's two eye products. So what I found interesting is this one. This is the Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner. How many of you remember the last time I tried this? What happened the last time I tried this was I opened it up and the entire product just fell out and it was gone and I couldn't even use it. And I was so annoyed. This time it doesn't. So what happens is that you twist this off and each time you do, you can hear it sharpening the pencil. And it is so nice. Here you go. Guys, I used this for my liner today and I just kind of smudged it into a wing. It's very creamy and very, you can make it very dark or you can make it very blurred out. I'm really enjoying it. Now this is today is the first day I've used it. I do really like it so far. They also sent me the super fan fanned out mascara. I'm wearing that today and enjoying it more than I thought I would because it does have one of these like rubber bristle brushes, which I am not a fan of. I like a hair brush, but this did a nice job of like separating my lashes, but you could build it up because I like a thick lash. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. And then, whew, this is the Be Legendary Lip Line and Prime Pencil in medium brown. This might be a new favorite. Color is perfect. It feels wonderful on the lips. It's nice and creamy, but like this brownish color. Now I did not use this as lipstick. I used a BK Beauty lipstick, but really liking this so far, really liking. And then they sent me this saucy, vampy liquid lipstick. So this is the Always On Liquid Lipstick and the color is Misconduct. Two words, Misconduct, I see what you did there. But it's this like vampy color and I'm not sure yet if I want to use this because this does have tinges of purple in it. And I don't love a purple lip on myself, but this is such a sexy color. Should I keep it? Should I keep it? So again, I always want to be honest with you guys. So the total value of everything I received in PR this month was near, was nearly $850. I feel very uncomfortable saying that, but so grateful at the same time. I know I work hard, but it's still hard for me to convince myself that I deserve all this. And I'm so freaking thankful that I get to try these products from these wonderful cruelty-free brands. And it's all because of you guys. So thank you. Now, whew. Whew, okay, now that we're past that, he wanted to say hi to. This is Piper. He is, he's my sweet boy. He's a little stinky. They're all stinky. All cats are stinky. This one's also a pervert. We call him a pervert because he licks his brother's butt. As far as old products that I have been loving, first and foremost, I know I just mentioned this, but the Melt Liner in Burnish. So this is the one that I got with the Rust collection that I paid for with my own money and it is my favorite melt gel liner. It is the most perfect warm red brown ever. And it makes blue eyes or green eyes or hazel eyes look so insanely poppin'. I love it. And I've been using mine so often now because I have to admit, like I always say, use the good stuff. This is something I was holding on to because I was scared of it going away. I was scared of using it up. Not anymore. <laughs> I have a backup now. So I have been using this like twice, three times a week. It's so good. When I don't feel like doing any makeup, sometimes I'll just put a little bit of this on the lash line. Beautiful. The other thing I've gone back to just loving and using really often are the Kaleidos Melt On Liners. I think that's what they're called. So these came out with Night of Creation, but these are the ones that are like the multi-chrome liners. They are so freaking cool. And I really love playing with these again. And I've used all of them. So we've got like a blue to purple, a green to purple, a green to blue. You know, uh, this one is like pink to green. They are so cool. And I think they're so worth the money. Now I have not tried the ones from Moira. I have not tried the ones from ColourPop. So I can't compare them. All I can say is that these are so good. And if you've been looking for like multi-chrome liners, I can recommend these like above and beyond. Now, as far as what I've gotten rid of, nothing. Nothing, I haven't done any declutters this month at all. I've gotten rid of nothing, unless you want to count the broke, like the broken microphone. Gotten rid of that. I lied, it's sitting right there. I haven't even gotten rid of that and it's broken. What is my problem? So yeah, I'm hoping that next month I want to do some sort of declutter, but I don't know what, because I just did a big declutter. So maybe I'll get rid of nothing. Maybe I'll get rid of my entire collection. Who knows? It's not going to be my entire collection. It makes me happy 
don't dull my joy. Now, other things that have brought me joy this month. So I do want to say this has been a more difficult month for me mentally. February usually is. I do suffer from seasonal depression, but I also got COVID this month. So I spent almost two weeks like in bed in the house kind of thing. And that does not do wonders for your mental health when you already are like a little something something. So I do want to state that, but you want to know a weird thing that has brought me joy this month. And I'm very proud of myself in using the good stuff and even the not so good stuff. You guys, when I get out of the shower each day, one thing I've always kind of been bad at is body lotion. I'll put it on when I remember, da da da. Every time I've taken a shower, I have lathered myself head to toe in lotion. My skin, my skin feels heavenly, especially on my thighs and my butt. If you're not putting lotion on your butt, what are you doing with your life? I feel like a freaking little piglet, like a little soft piglet. Are piglets soft or are they fuzzy? I feel like a seal. I feel like a baby seal. But it has really, like, it's a weird thing that has kind of helped my confidence too. I have so much body lotion and I want to use it up, but like my skin always feels really good now. And considering that I definitely from the waist, our neck down have dry skin. There's no normal to dry about this. This is dry. I have been feeling just really good and it's been upping my self-confidence. So I encourage you, slather yourself in lotion every time you get out of the shower. You are gonna feel so damn good and slippery and sexy, like a little seal eel, like a seal, an eel or a seal. Both of those things, you're gonna feel like them. And finally, the thing bringing me joy. <laughs> it's a movie, okay? And it's on Prime, I believe. It's called Bottoms, okay? If you haven't seen it yet, watch it. I'm not even gonna tell you what it's about. I'm not even gonna tell you. I'll show you a poster here, but I'm not telling you what it's about and you just need to go watch it. You can watch the trailer. It's not gonna prepare you. It is delightfully heartwarming and sweet and funny as hell and raucous and raunchy and amazing. Go watch Bottoms, just do it. And that is it. I feel like this one was so long because I was telling you about the PR and I feel like weird about doing that. But again, I never want to leave that out because even for me, it's kind of a gut check for me personally to keep myself in check when things like that are happening. You know what I mean? And I'm getting that stuff in my collection. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are also on a low buy, let me know down below how you did this month. Did you, did you get some things that you've always wanted? Did you impulse buy anything? There's no judgment here, but I always like us to check in with each other. So check in with me down below. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love if you'd subscribe. That would mean so much to me. I would love to get to 13,000 subscribers by let's say like June. Is that possible? Can we do that together? I think we can do it. So thank you again for watching. You all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always, and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. And I love you so much with my whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.